Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. I've got the famous Marie Sharp's Fiery Hot Habanero Pepper Sauce to review today. But before I review this, I just wanna wish some friends happy birthdays. Jeffrey H in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, happy birthday to you. Tim N in Ozauki, Wisconsin, USA, happy birthday to you. Lacey F in Naples, Florida, USA, happy birthday to you. And Brittany N here in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to anyone who's celebrating a birthday today. And to the rest of us, let's have a great day or a happy unbirthday. I should almost rethink that line. I'm saying that only the people that aren't having a birthday today should have a great day. I just realized that. I hope everyone has a great day today, not just the unbirthdays. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm an overthinker. <laughs> I overthink things for sure. But anyways, let's get to this. Marie Sharp's Fiery Hot Habanero Pepper Sauce. I actually borrowed this sauce, to be honest. I borrowed this from my mom and dad. I was up there for dinner or a hangout or something not too long ago. I don't remember when they gave it to me, actually. But mom said, you gotta try this sauce. She really likes these Marie Sharp sauce sauces. I got to review that, I think it was called the Red Hornet Pepper Sauce. That one was hot. I was actually really impressed with that one. And uh, I'm really intrigued by these ones. I've actually seen Marie Sharp sauces around town here in Kamloops. I believe at Fresh's Best and Fresh Street, Fresh Market Street. I always forget the name of that one. It's terrible. Fresh Market Street, Fresh Street Market, it's something like that. It's up in the Aberdeen Mall, if you know what I mean. But anyways, I'm gonna read the write-up here. I don't remember if it was on the other bottle or not. Marie Sharp's Habanero Sauce, Habanero Pepper Sauce, sorry, is the finest product of its kind. This unique carrot-based blend achieves the perfect balance between flavor and heat. Nestled in the foothills of the Mayan mountains, Marie Sharp's factory still creates products the old-fashioned way, using the freshest, freshest vegetables and the finest ingredients. Her secret homemade recipe utilizes the potent red hab habanero pepper produced in the fertile paradise of Belize. Her red habanero is considered to be one of the hottest pepper known to, the, known to man. Really interesting. Marie has spent many years cultivating a habanero worthy of her recipe. She has succeeded. So I'm not sure if this label's a few years old or not. I'm not sure about that, but, uh, or maybe her habanero specifically, I don't know. I've never heard that claim before, to be honest. I'm very intrigued by that claim, absolutely. I like hot peppers and I love habaneros. Habaneros have a great flavor. And a, I don't know, a nice burn to them, a nice sting to them. Here's the ingredients. Select red habanero peppers, vinegar, carrots, onions, salt, lime juice, and garlic. Refrigerate after opening. Oh, it doesn't tell you to shake it. Usually it does. To be honest, it doesn't really look like it needs to be shaken. It looks very consistent throughout. Also, it looks to be quite a thick sauce. I do like the gold shrink wrap. That is a very nice touch. I'm gonna be honest with you, I had a little bit of trouble following on when I was reading, following along when I was reading there. It's pretty shiny, small lettering. <laughs> I don't know, these eyes are, it's getting a little bit harder to focus on things with these eyes these days. I almost said these old eyes. I'm not that old. I feel old sometimes. <laughs> but anyways, this is a great looking sauce. There's some pepper seeds in there. I see some, well, one black strand in there. I'm not sure what that could be. Could be, could be something. Anyways, I hope you're all having a great day so far. I'm having a pretty good day. It's 
9.30 in the morning here. I meant to get up a little bit early, but I earlier, but I forgot forgot to set my alarm on my phone. I'm stuttering a lot all of a sudden. <laughs> forgot to set my alarm on my phone. I got up at 6.30, I think. Today is watering day. We have watering restrictions here. Uh, it's my day to water today, so I like to get up early and do the watering early in the morning. But missed it by half an hour. That's all right. I'm hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> that just hit me. Let's have some breakfast. <laughs> I like the look of this sauce. It, yeah, medium to thick consistency. Some small bits of, ch you know, chunks of peppers and carrots and onions and garlic. Let's open it up. Now there is a flow restrictor on this. I hope you don't mind if I remove the flow restrictor, mom. Maybe I'll keep it for you. I'll keep the flow restrictor and put it back on afterwards. I'll leave that up to you. Because I'm not a big fan of flow restrictors. I find, like, even on a spoon, maybe especially on a spoon, because you're, you know, one drop at a time and you're shaking it around, I just find, I don't know. I, I always want the sauce to come out a little faster. The spoon just fell out of the case. <laughs> That's funny. Probably some dog hairs on it, so I'm gonna give it a little wipe off. <laughs> I could give it a rinse, but I'm actually standing on a towel. I put a towel down when I'm doing hot sauce reviews because I don't want to get this on the carpet. That happened one time on a video, actually. It was yellow sauce. I forget what it was, but yeah, I dripped it right on the carpet. Luckily it didn't stain. I cleaned it up right after the review was over, and I think I used vinegar, I think, to clean it up. Anyways, let's give this a pour and try it out. I'm really stoked to try this stuff out. My mother likes this sauce. My mom knows good hot sauces. She knows what tastes good, for sure. Nice looking sauce. Nice color to it, kind of a orangey red to it. Chunky, kind of syrupy. My mouth is watering. Let's give this a try. Marie Sharp's Fiery Hot Habanero Pepper Sauce. Heat my shorts. Mmm. Oh, that's good. It reminds me of a salsa, and I mean, I know that salsa means hot sauce, but it reminds me of a, a red salsa that you would dip chips in. That's what it instantly reminded me of. Good sting, for sure, good sting. Great flavor. This is a really nice habanero sauce, for sure. Mmm. It's sweet. It's a little bit salty. It tastes like tomato. It honestly tastes like it has tomato in it. I keep having to check. Like, I know that peppers are in the same family as a tomato. But this totally just tastes like it should have tomato listed on that ingredients list. Yeah, you're right, Mom. This is a great habanero sauce. Even the texture reminds me of, like, a tomato salsa. Mmm. That's really good. Can I do it this way? <laughs> I think that worked. It did. I just left it in the cap and screwed it back on. There you go, Mom. <laughs> it's up to you now. Um, so, let's talk about this sauce. I like it. Honestly, it, it's amazing how delicious 
a pepper sauce can be like this is this is a pepper sauce for sure like first ingredient is habaneros that means that that is the the, the dominant ingredient in it the most prominent ingredient there's mo mostly habaneros that's how that's how ingredient lists should work that's how they typically work anyway it's not very vinegary honestly I don't really taste a lot of vinegar in there. Carrot, I don't pick up either. I bet you the carrot is adding to that salsa texture. I bet you that's adding to that pulpy texture big time because carrot doesn't have a lot of flavor, especially when you add it in with some things like that. Onion, same thing. I bet you that onion is adding to that, that salsa flavor and feel. Salt, lime juice, garlic. Yeah, that's great. This is an excellent habanero sauce. I really like that. I would agree. You could call this fiery hot. This is, it's got a kick for sure. It's got me sweating. Heat level, sorry, flavor. Let's do flavor first. Flavor is more important than heat. And that's why I started um, reviewing the flavor before the heat. For a flavor rating, Hmm, I think I'd give this like an eight and a half out of ten. It's delicious. This is really good. It's hard. Honestly, at my first, I was like, oh, it's going to be like a ten out of ten, but it's just, it's just really nice. It's not candy. It's not. I don't even know how to, you know, I don't know, I don't know how to compare it to other things, but this is just great. This is a great straight up habanero pepper sauce. Um, you know, it doesn't have all the fancy, I can't even think of other ingredients that you'd add. It doesn't have elderberries and cedar boughs and, you know, things that you... Um, fancy <laughs> exotic ingredients I mean I guess in a sense it does have tropical pepper in it but simple ingredients honestly simple ingredients no preservatives in there that's just really good it's just a really good habanero pepper sauce so yeah eight and a half out of ten <laughs> my heat level I think I would give this I think I'd give this a 2 out of 10 on my heat scale. Tip of the tongue is still really stinging. The lips have a nice pleasant sting to them. I have a nice warmth down in my chest and my stomach. It's not a burn, it's not uncomfortable, it's just a, a presence, a warm, warm presence. I don't even know. Really nice. If you were at a habanero level, you could easily call this sauce easily a 5 out of 10, maybe more. If you're at jalapeno level, this, this sauce will probably light you up. This would be probably too hot for you. Maybe if you're at jalapeno level, unless you really want to make a jump in tolerance in hot sauce spice level. For jalapeno, you'd probably call it a 8 out of 10, maybe 9. I don't know definitely get lit up depending on how much you had instant searing tip of the tongue sting if you were new to this who would i recommend this to well if you're looking for a habanero sauce that's not salt overly salty overly vinegary um overly complicated but just a great habanero pepper sauce with a ni nice habanero sting to it i highly recommend this I like that the the logo there is heart shaped. I'm sure that's intentional. I'm sure of it, but it's really nice. Nice artwork. I didn't talk about that. Nicely, I don't know. I like the the gold, the metallic gold background and the flames there. I don't know. Just looks good. Nice looking sauce too. I like it all around. Um, I kind of went. 
I kind of went off on a thing there. I was talking about who I would recommend it to. I kind of finished the sentence, kind of finished that point, didn't I? Yeah, if you want a good habanero pepper sauce, give it a try. <laughs> would I restock this? I would absolutely buy a bottle of this. As far as habanero sauces go, I'd even keep a bottle of this around. I'm pretty sure I've seen this for sale here in town. I would absolutely restock it. Hey Maggie, come here. Maggie's getting up. Let's call her over. Come here, Maggie. Come here, Maggie. Wow. Do you want to be my parent today? Come here. <laughs> come here. You're not quite on camera. Almost. Come here, silly. There you go. Hey, do you want some habanero sauce? She would too. She's wild. She would. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good girl, Maggie. I'll talk about the parrots in a moment here. We'll have her a quick little hangout with Maggie. Well, you don't want a hug. She stepped away when I gave her a hug there. Sometimes she was, sometimes she's all about the hugs, but sometimes no. Sometimes she's not feeling it. Only high fives. Can I have a paw then? Good girl. That's very nice, Maggie. That's very nice. You're a good girl. Oh, kisses. Thank you. You're so sweet. We got to go to the pet store yesterday. It was actually a lot of fun. Well, it was a quick visit, but we had to get out of the house. It was smoky down here. It was smoky up there, too, but luckily the car has air conditioning, and I used the recirculate, and uh, the store was nice, too. Got her some new some stew. I don't know if I told you about the stew that I found for her. I think it's called Stella's Stew, and uh, it's made for animals, but it's human-grade product in it, and I put a little you know, like a spoonful of it in every meal of hers, and she absolutely loves it. So she's scarfing down her meals like like it's going out of style. And she's never really been about that. She's always been a pretty slow eater. Yeah, you're such a good girl. You love your stew. And you love going to the pet store where you get all the attention and treats. Yes. Well, she's not, you know, she gets one treat every time she goes. Anyways, let's get back to this. Some, uh, a Maggie intermission, <laughs> mandatory. Parrots, let's talk about parrots. What would I pair it with? Well, I would pair this with all sorts of meals. This is like a very diverse sauce. First things I sort of thought of were like tacos, burritos, nachos, things like that. You know, things that you would put salsa on. You could totally put this on all sorts of pastas, whether it be a red sauce, a cheese sauce, um, a pesto sauce even, totally. Um, add this to a grilled cheese sandwich, add this to tomato soup, add this to a Caesar or a Bloody Mary and stir it in. Um, what else? Burgers, hot dogs, you could honestly, put this on all sorts of things. You could add this onto a green salad if you wanted to. Use it as a dressing. It's not very vinegary, but it'll add a nice bite for sure. <laughs> um, all sorts of things. I'm kind of running out of ideas because I'm I've already named it all, most of my favorite foods. <laughs> but honestly, so all sorts of things. Very diverse sauce. Anything that you want some spice on, some pepper flavor. A salsa flavor. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say there. Maybe make some funny noises or something, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, I did. Um, so thank you very much, Mom and Dad, for letting me borrow this and review it. I really like this. This is really good. I'll make sure to get this back to you soon. Um, we had our Maggie hangout. I don't really have much else to talk about. I'm actually pretty excited to get back outside, do some more watering and pruning. I've been doing a little bit of pruning of my pepper plants, just taking off the less healthy leaves and uh, some of the pods that are not healthy. Some of, some of, you know, they get the gross brown spots on them. I remove those. I actually was going to eat one yesterday. I took a little bite. It was spicy. I can't even remember what kind it was. 
I think it was a seven pot OG, but it was still green and it kind of went weird. So, but I tasted the end of it and uh, it had some heat for sure. It was still green. But anyways, Yellow Reaper is turning yellow. BBMs are turning brownish black. Um, I think some Red Reapers are turning red as well. I think. I think some seven pot OGs are turning red. All sorts of stuff's happening out there. This is a 20 minute video, I'm shutting it down. In this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Hot Sauce Junkie Tim's YouTube channel. Hop over there and give him a subscribe. Check out his channel if you haven't already. And up here, some content for you to enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. I love you all very much. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show, bye bye.